Yesterday was April 11th, and here I stand, drove some entrance. See, this is meant to be the uh, trivia lobby. And so if I go down here, you can see that here's the lobby. And this is going to be the tunnel to the trivia lobby. But I actually haven't started actually building the entire thing. So there's a currently a temporary um, trivia lobby here. I've also decided only to have two games because I decided to go on with a policy of uh, completed with a tolerable quality. Um, Bedrock vs. Java has mostly been the same. But here, I've added the other mobs to the other ways to um, for trivia. So first we have five triple fighters per player. Kills you, and it spawns, uh, I think, four fongies in the second way. It also gives you uh, three golden apples. Two zombies. And, uh, another zombie. Uh, they have incredible health, but they're also quite. Good. Their name. Um. Yeah, they're quite. A strong uh, with one point nine, they have that disables their. Also deals a lot more damage. Um. The chest plate also gives a ton of health. To Fred. Uh, Fred actually has a double team. I originally made it made to be like another player playing with this combat style, which is why the axe, uh, the weapon is different per person you select. But also, it's a reference to the history of Gamefly Champions on the server. And now there's what, no award yet. Um, and where it says, like, some jerks I called friends. And Fongi is the protagonist or main character of. The uh, dual cubes by Game for Five. Um, here's puzzle. Wait, no, that actually that isn't meant. No, it's a quicker way there, but it's going to be take place in a lab, as you can see. There's like this tube thing. It Stephen raised the underground up for some reason, claiming that there would be more room. Um, you can see that they've added uh, this like laboratory. A slash dungeon, like abandoned laboratory or something. As you can see, Brandon has begun building the mountains that surround the lobby. And you can also see that there is no more arena in the sky. Um, it has been completely removed. Um, meanwhile, I believe there are quite some developments in parkour. Firstly, you can see that Timothy has continued adding on. Oh, it looks like he has created an entire lava lake at the bottom. And you can see how he has added a lot more parkourness on his sides and more lava falls, etc. Uh, looks like these gave up. Rip. Here you can see uh, Edmund has made some randomized honey spikes. Here's the uh, Lord Monkey. Uh, that's what he turned into the in the gold stage. Apparently, uh, it deals replication damage, but I'm not able to replicate that for some reason. There's also a full cool animation at the start of the gold stage, but I'm also unable to show that. The Uwu was removed, at least. And you can see we've been playing around with like some redstone and some honey block parkour. And Edmund has been working on the gold parkour. A lot. You can see there is an, a Lord Monkler animation and this exit to lobby uh, let me set my spawn point here so 
I believe you spawn on this side. And you can't actually jump across. Um, but if you do get across and you know there's an exit to lobby, you get here. <laughs> it says you dirty cheater and then it kills you. Finally, Brandon has been working hard on his on the boss battle area. Um, you can see that he has built a room over here and a staircase down and that leads to this room which he has completed the walls for. Um, he intends on doing the commands for the boss battle as well, which is pretty cool.